This is LBD Night Train with the Mega Man Network, and today I'm reviewing Bandai's D-Arts Ultimate Mega Man X figure, or in this case, Rockman X, as the as the package disclaims. But it is available with Mega Man X from Bluefin to Mashi Nations, who kindly provided this as a uh, review sample for us, and. Um, this is the latest in their line of Mega Man X uh, figures, the uh, ones of actual X. I believe they have a Zero coming out uh, soon. And uh, yeah, you have a uh, the standard window uh, box packaging here, which uh, features the neat stylized Circuit Cyber X that the others in the line, uh, the X line, have. Uh, if you turn to each side, you get different pictures of. Uh, X, mostly uh, X from wearing his ultimate armor, of course, and uh, that have been featured in promo art and such over the years. Mainly with Mega Man X4, because that's where the original was highlighted. Open. Recording. Inside the box, in addition to the figure, we have a set of instructions here which are sort of handy because Ultimate X is a more complicated figure in some regards than some of the previous D-Arts line. You can pull those here and uh, get an idea of how everything comes together. In addition, uh, for fans of uh, mobile gaming, there is a little flyer for a Rockman crossover. Everybody's favorite uh, mobile rock man game. <laughs> oh, let's see how far we can get with it. In fact, you may even want to put it down for the moment. Still recording? Tango, seriously? Yeah, sure. I'll edit it out. Let's do a review of his butt. Huh? Let's do a review of his butt. Go. Here we have uh, the Ultimate X figure out of the package. As you can see, he's decorated with a sort of a semi-transparent blue plastic, much like the original Bandai model kit and like in the character art. Although it doesn't go all the way through, but it shows a lot of uh, sculpted detail within the plastic itself. Can you uh, see it well? You can see more of that from behind him. And he fe he's very detailed overall, much more than the original Bandai figure. Uh, you can... Uh, lots of paint apps here and there, including the uh, little areas on the back of his boots. And... Um, he features the same sort of uh, transparent, like uh, jewel-like detailing for his uh, make for his X-Buster cannon and uh, belt and other portions there, just as in the other D Arts figures. He, for articulation, he uh, features the standard uh, D Arts level of articulation. He's got the uh, shoulder swivels, which like are double jointed, so you can uh, move them widely. He has the, uh, well, better show on this one, the uh, double-jointed elbows, which allow him full range of motion. 
and of course he has the uh, wrist swivels. The uh, X-Buster with its uh, fins doesn't get quite the same range of movement as a result, but it's uh, still pretty flexible and you can remove the fins if that is your preference. <laughs> Holding pretty well there. And you know, as you can see, you can get him to move it like so. Uh, the knees are similarly double jointed. He has a nice uh, waist swivel and thigh so they're on a double ball joint as well, allowing him some dynamic movement. And uh, he has some ankle articulation. It's um, it actually moves a bit, but it's a, it's a bit snug, so you'll have to work with it a little bit. And but you shouldn't have any uh, problems positioning it to stand him correctly. Uh, he also includes the detachable backpack section here, which uh, fans of the original remember created a glider, sort of a jet sled, like from the original uh, Mega Man Classic series that X could ride on. Uh, he doesn't have all that function here, but much like the games, you can attach a few accessories. Uh, a little bit loose there. Uh, this part especially, the uh, replicate replica of the uh, chest plate is uh, a bit loose, but it holds uh, pretty well as long as you don't uh, stress it. Flip it around, and X is good to go for his Nova Strike attack. Oh, he also has a nice range of motion with uh, the ball jointed head, so you can look up and to either side. Um, as with the uh, other X figures and, and several other figures in the uh, D-Arts line, particularly the uh, Mega Man and X ones, you can remove the uh, barrel, which has a nice jewel-like uh, inset there, and replace it with a hollow one. Sorry, make sure I have that right. There we go. And with that, you get a unique little plasma burst, which plugs in, and uh, have him ready for firing in action. And if you want the full effect, just reinsert the fins. And it's almost like X has a plasma crossbow action going on. Uh, you'll want to be careful with the with this though because uh, it feels pretty solid. It's uh, actually fairly sharp at the end, um, so you'll want to be careful not to. Definitely don't want to step on it if you thought Legos were bad. Uh, this end's not uh, particularly friendly either, but it's a neat little display piece that uh, represents the original art from Mega Man X4. And. In addition, whoops, now with that uh, aforementioned piece here, so you definitely want to be careful with the, yeah, you're definitely going to want to be careful with the backpack piece. It holds together well enough if you don't, you know, drop it or anything, but, uh, anyway, of course, X wouldn't be, uh, normal Mega Man if he can switch out his uh, his fist which just plugs right in there oh whoops got that wrong there we go ah there we go nice double jointed fist and he comes with a uh, second set of hands a pair of open hands, which are good for, like, you know, various poses. There we are. So, now he can shake hands, or he can wave, or he can even uh, hold his uh, X-Buster.
Okay, so got a good shot of them there. Mm -hmm. Does that look good? Mm -hmm. Okay. See, and you said you don't want to do the faces, right? Not so much. I'm trying to feel a bit faint. I'll tell you what, let me see. Yeah, okay, that's not going to take long at all. Okay, if you just do like, you know, a face or two, that's fine. Yeah, there's just two other faces. There we go. Oh, you know what? I should. Let me just hold the thing right. One other feature that which uh, is uh, usually standard with the D Arts figures is the ability to pop off the front part of the helmet and you can change faces around so now you can have a uh, go from a more stoic X to one where he seems to be uh, slightly alarmed by something off camera Or just a little more concerned about something off to his side. Yep. And finally, it's comparison time. Here's the uh, original Mega Man uh, X, which came with a copy of uh, Rockman X4, the Japanese version. It wasn't sold in America, so you'd have to import or find a store that would import it. As you can see, there's a bit of a height difference. Uh, the uh, D-Arts version is a little sleeker, uh, more articulated, a little pointier here and there. Uh, you can see them from the back here as well. Um, one thing to note is that with the uh, backpacks, besides more detail on this one, uh, as noted, it doesn't turn into the jet sled, which is kind of a case of uh, functionality uh, hindering form, but uh, one problem with the original X was that it was hard to move his arm without that happening, so, but the uh, Bandai D-Arts version actually has a nice degree of uh, clearance there. It was actually made with uh, keeping the backpack on in mind, and uh, you can actually see the uh, more raised back area which really helps there and uh, you know, again like this one has like you know some different like articulation maybe you would have liked to flip the wings out when he's in uh, doing his Nova strike but this one has no such uh, articulation down there uh, but overall for the detail the articulation it makes a great display piece um, the uh, variety of options make things a little bit loose Although, uh, you'll notice some things are a bit more solid on this one as well. Uh, the backpack's pretty solid as well, too. The backpack is pretty solid, too. But uh, overall, um, unless you're... Well, actually, you know, really, uh, this one has a little more playability for it in the, uh, in the jet sled there. But as you can see, he doesn't hold together too well. The uh, Bandai D-Arts version, however, it holds up a lot better. You don't want to get too rough with it because some pieces you have to kind of finesse to get into place. 
Uh, he has a greater range of articulation, he's more poseable, and uh, you can do everything pretty much but the jet sled option with him, so he's definitely the ideal choice if, you, if you're trying to choose between which version of Ultimate X to get. That should probably go without saying with most of the Bandai D-Arts line, but uh, just in case you need verification, there it is. Uh, this is the new standard for Ultimate X. Uh, sorry buddy, you were good for a while, but... Uh, <laughs> The uh, next generation is here. And uh, that's everything for now. We, uh, and we'll see you next time.